Yeah, let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we were talking about Mike coming on that tour with us, and, and everyone was, um, I think a lot of people were curious how Mike and I met, and um, you know, it's funny, like he played his record release about a year ago in Chicago, and he asked me to play, and I was floored. Someone I've looked up to for a long time. Um, and of course, said yes. It was in Chicago. It's a place called the Bee Kitchen. And uh, so I play, and him and I are talking, and we, you know, we hit, you know, I think we hit it off. We, you know, have a really good night, and he, you know, is really stoked that I played and stuff. And and uh, him and I keep in touch for a little while. And I and my friend Matt approaches me about starting a band about a month later, and we needed a drummer. I was like, Matt, well, why don't we ask? Why don't we ask Mike to drum? He probably want to play. And so, email Mike, we're like, hey, we have this idea to start a band, like, do you want to play the drums? It's really casual, like, obviously Mike has a family, and I'm on tour all the time, and Matt's in school, so it's just like, you know, we can't play a whole lot, this isn't going to be something that we want to tour, like, it's just something very, you know, for fun. And, uh, so Mike's like, yeah, sure. And Matt and I are kind of like, oh, like, we got to... We gotta write songs now. <laughs> and so Matt and I used to get together and Matt has all these riffs and songs and stuff and, and I'm just playing the bass and just trying to, you know, because Matt's playing guitar, so I'm playing bass and Mike's playing drums. And um trying to help Matt, you know, figure these songs out and, and write bass to them and stuff. And, and Mike comes in and, and we start rehearsing and um and we've been writing music together for about a year. And uh I think finally we finally got enough songs together, we got about six songs together and um <clears throat> yeah, and finally decided it was like time to start telling people about it. And uh, the name was just like something stupid, you know. Like everyone's like, the, the name's so dumb. It's like, oh well, yeah, but it, you know, people who misuse the words there, there, and there are dumb. <laughs> like learn grammar, you know. Like this was our way of making a joke out of how people always get those words wrong, and how tired we are of reading inappropriate grammar everywhere we go, and um, while at the same time maintaining our our Midwest '90s emo DIY. Uh, sense of humor. Um, yeah, so we started recording the songs right before I came over here, and I've been over here for six weeks. So the song, the music's been recorded for about six weeks. But uh, when I get home, we're gonna finish them up and um, you know add vocals to it, add some extra guitar, and then um, hopefully around early next year we'll figure out where the songs are coming out, being released, and if they're gonna stay all six of them together, if they're gonna get split up into a couple different releases or something, and maybe play a show. But um, seeing as how we're all incredibly busy, I don't know if that's a possibility. I would like it to be. It's um, one of those things where it's really fun for us all to get together and play and work on something that's not our total priority. Like Mike's concentrated on his family and with his music, and I'm concentrated, you know, on, on my own music and, and what I have going on in Chicago. And Matt's, you know, concentrating on school, and he plays in a couple other bands as well. And it's, you know, so it's it's a nice escape, I think, for the three of us to have something creative to do that isn't our number one priority, but can keep our minds moving a little bit. So so I'm playing bass, which is really cool for me because um, I haven't played bass in a band for five years, and um, bass was the instrument, it was my first instrument, is what I played in my very first band called The Progress, and um, I wish I got to play it more, I never get to play it doing into it over it stuff unless we're like recording an album, you know, so um, that was the main incentive for me to want to do the band. It's like, oh, cool, I get to play the bass. I get to, I get to go back to where I, my favorite instrument, you know. And um, Mike is playing the drums. And uh, Mike had played the drums, I think, only in one other band, and aside from maybe his own recordings that he does with this thing called Owen, which he does. Um, but he would played drums in a band called Cap and Jazz in the 90s. And um, But since then, he played guitar in a bunch of bands. Um, Spanish American football and um, well, you know what? I guess he played drums in Owls as well. Um, but I think that was also a big incentive for him was to play drums in a band. He never got to. He hasn't gotten to do that in, for a, a series of years. And uh, Matt, who has been writing the songs for the band, has uh, formerly played guitar in a band in Chicago called Loose Lip Sync Ships, which was an all instrumental band that was just based in and around the city. I think they maybe did a couple small tours and put out a couple records. But um, Matt's a phenomenal guitar player and really. Um, I think could use a couple outlets to get his songs out there because he's so fucking good at guitar. So he came to us and wanted to write some songs and we, um, 
we decided to put them together and it's really, there hasn't been any sort of influence and people have been brainstorming, they've been like, oh, is it gonna sound like Intuit Overt? Is it gonna sound like Owen? Or is it gonna sound like Loose Lips? Or is it gonna sound like Stay Ahead of the Weather? Or is it gonna sound like Captain Jazz or American Football? And it doesn't sound like any of those bands. And, uh, and that's what's I think really cool about it is because people have these expectations like it's gonna sound like something we've already done, but it doesn't, I don't think it sounds like any of that. And, um, but I think listening to the songs you can tell that the three of us wrote them. Like, it makes sense that we made a band that sounds the way it does, but I don't think it sounds like anything else we've done. Um, people have been throwing around this word, which I f fucking despise, this word supergroup. I fucking can't stand this fucking word. I think that's such a stupid term. Like, nobody starts a band because they want to have, like, hype built around it. You know, the three of us started a band because we wanted to have fun and we wanted to write some songs and, and I hope people's expectations aren't like to the point where it's like, oh, it's, it's going to be the most insane thing I've ever heard. Like, no, it's not. It's not going to be the instant, most insane thing you've ever heard. It's just going to be a band. No, we're a band. We're three regular guys playing music. And um, I think that's, it's flattering that people would want to use that word in a sense. But, I mean, I don't think I'm anything special. And I, I'm sure if you asked Matt and Mike, they'd have the same thing to say. So, I, you know, we're just three dudes that wanted to play music together. And, um, I think that's a, a, a very silly way of describing our band. I think it's, it's just a band. And, um, you know, that being said, I really hope people like it. I mean, but genuinely, we haven't been writing songs for anyone but ourselves. So, um, if we're happy, I think that's the most important thing. So, cool.